Absolutely agree with that. Are there uh, <laughs> any any new fields of study that you've just taken on, or anything that you have thought about getting around to, to study Every day. that haven't had the time? Every day. Every day I'm opening up. I'm, I'm in the five books as we speak, and they're all on psychology, how the, the brain, how things work. I mean, we have the most advanced technology today. You know there's a section in the bookstore, a new section on, on, on science of the brain on Colorado Boulevard and Barnes & Noble is the only section that's really small right now. It's one, one shelf. And I believe it's going to be all the way to the very end. Biopsychophysics? Hmm? Is it biopsychophysics? Um, I don't know exactly, but I, in my opinion, it's like design and engineering. Um, we, now, we now know the matrix of the mind and how to make it and operate it much more efficiently and better now. We, the technology is there. Um, uh, and there's a small section on that. Now, some people talk about the God mind or God brain or... The id. Or, the, the id or the ego, too. Yes. Or um, Carl Jung, for example. Well, um, to be more, to be a little bit more precise, like the yes, 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 and but um, like the, the godlike mind they're talking about, and, and, and all there's like there's so many different um, um, avenues you can take this technology of psychology and how the mind works in different vent avenues of, of, of different topics in life, and there's a whole section on it now. I'm just going through all of them, but they're all saying the same thing, whether it's about this, 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 or that. And I believe, in my opinion, it's going to grow because now we're learning how to use the brain much better and much more efficiently. Some of the things I was talking about, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Be activating your mind a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Not just seeing things, but feeling it, and hearing exactly. it. Investigating you know? the human experience as a whole. Exactly. Emotional, mental, yeah. intellectual, but also symbolic and kinetic. Right. There, there's a difference between thinking about going on a roller coaster, mm -hmm. going up and then going down, a lot of fun, and then thinking about it and actually being there. In the seat, Treasuring feeling the that big thing on you just buckled you in. Click, 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 click. You could feel it. You could hear it. You're looking around. Your friends. You're going to put my hands up. I'm not going to put my hands up. I don't know. <laughs> it's a big ride, you know. And it's, it, 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 it's all of a sudden click, click. You're at the top. And you're just like, here comes the anticipation, right? You're feeling it. All of a sudden, you all everything. You're like, oh, your organs go up. And you're coming down. You're like, ah, hold on to this thing. You feel the pressure and the pressure of this thing holding you in as your body's rising up with the gravity as you're being pulled down. There's a whole different experience really being there in your mind as opposed to just thinking about it. That's what I want to paint. I want to paint realism into it. Because yeah. the students can practice the moves, but if they just do the moves and then they get in a fight in the street, and it's like, man, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Studies have shown if you study pissed off, you better take your test pissed off. That's right. <laughs> because you're accessing a di whole different part of your brain when you're learning. So, I try to paint a picture like, guys, pretend this is, we'll just don't go on, just going to the moves, going to the moves, uh, now it's the other guy's turn, I'm just sitting here, I'm being a dead fish, thinking about something else, maybe I'm having a conversation. No, don't lie dormant, activate your brain. What do you notice? The more sequences and patterns you notice, the more intelligent you're making yourself and your senses. This is intelligence. Now I'm onto something, I'm recognizing more, I'm paving a better route for myself. Pretend it's real. Guys, don't look, just look at the other guy and just say, ah, we're doing this, back to punch, okay, boom, boom. Yeah, I can teach anybody that. Anybody can. Put yourself, make it like a real fight. Probe each other like it's real, like you're going to get hit. You put that realism into it, now we're on to something here. Now when something happens, they're going to be more ready to adapt. They're more ready for it because their brain was in the right state of mind when they were practicing the technique. So then in a real situation, they're in the right state of mind. So the more I do this with a student, the more self-discoveries they're making, pretty soon it's just like, man. Like me, when I used to study black belt videos all the time, over and over and over and over, I used to watch it so much, thousands of times, hours a day, forcing myself until I'd fall asleep. I'd wake up, slobber all over, and be on still, and be like, oh, uh, I'm back at it. <laughs> Watching it some more, and, oh, time to go to the academy again, train. I was sick and obsessed. But what happened? After years and years of watching the same videotape a thousand times, all of a sudden I'd be like making up moves. I'm like, man, look at this, look at this. And I'd be like, look in the video, I'm like, oh, that's where I got it. My brain exactly. absorbed it, finally got it, and unconsciously I was doing it and thinking, oh, I look at it, I invented it. Look at me, look at this. No, you didn't invent anything. Nothing's new under the sun. I got it from here. But that's another realization. And you know what? I'm never going to forget that. I painted a meaningful experience for myself. Now I'm on the growth. That's awesome. Really great answer. Yeah. Um, is there anyone that you'd like to thank or mention or give props to or shout outs to that you um, that have influenced you obviously or currently any new students, any top fighters, anyone that you'd like to even personally
It's like long Anybody list. that's been within 10 feet of me my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. Okay. Even my bad experiences because yeah, it's right? made... It's made me to the point of this day, this second, this minute, right here, right now. You know what? I could have been somebody else. Who's the best? Uh, who's the best guy you've ever sparred, or ever fought? One of the best. Fought? <laughs> BJ. Penn. BJ Penn. BJ Penn. And what made him great? He beat me up pretty good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's just my opinion. <laughs> right. But uh, but um, um, he well. He did, we fought in November of 98, we were both purple belts at the time, this was before he was famous, gotcha. and um, this is our first introduction to each other, and after that we've been friends ever since. I'll be back at six. Okay. I have, um, I have to take Gio for the uh, Okay. So, we'll have a business meeting here for a couple of hours, so if you can do it at six, I'm sorry. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great. Thanks for sticking around. All right, that's good. Sorry, man. Taking too long. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, and we apologize if you need to get back or something. Then we'll no, I'm good. Yeah. Today's Friday. Okay. Yeah. Um. So BJ Penn. All right. What? Do you, uh, uh. Go ahead and ask one. Oh, I didn't actually finish on what go ahead. Made better. What I thought. If you if you want. To. Um. I used to train with voice every day at the time, and I just went to the Machados. This is my first big competition outside of the Gracie Academy. Outside of the Machados now and everything. So and, and before that, I used to roll with voice every day. You know, it's just. Thing. And, um, you know, I used to get beat up by a lot of great professors, a lot of great black belts and things like this. But by far, BJ, as a purple belt, just beat me effortlessly. And he was not special. I didn't feel strength. I didn't feel any special speed. He didn't even have that great endurance. There was nothing. So I was like, my conclusion was, he's not a purple belt. He's a black belt in disguise. He's holding back. He's lying to everybody. And now I'm angry. <laughs> I shouldn't have lied. Why was I fighting a black belt? That's the way it felt. Yeah. And then, and then I found out he was a purple belt. And then to make my ego even worse and, 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 and crush me even more, I don't really have an ego. Yeah. You do. But I, it was just, then I found out he'd only been training two years. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Sure, sure, sure. Then I found out it was true. And I was like, I would not leave my professors alone. Ask Hegan and, jo and yeah. John Machado. Question after question after question. Then the next summer, the, he, we fought each other in November. That next summer, BJ came to train with me and us, the, uh, the Machados. Mm -hmm. I was the only person he didn't tap in the tournament, so that was my only hallelujah. But, but when he came to the academy, first he got me in a choke, and then he got me in an arm lock, but you know, he discovered he's good. Then I, I went to my professors, and I said, what do you think, Hegan, what do you think? He went roll with John, he rolled with Hegan. My answer to my, my professor's answer, Hegan Machado, who was like second best on the planet Earth at one point in life, he goes, he's good. And I'm like, why, Hegan, why? He's like, he's good because he almost passed my guard. <laughs> I go, oh, so if he almost passed your guard, that makes him good. <laughs> Not quite the answer I was almost. looking for, but it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's so, okay, great. he's good because <laughs> he almost got you. See, you know,